Engineering Mechanics Part 7 Problems 35 hanggang 41 Okay, situation 12, a beam is loaded as shown. So, meron tayong beam dito na may mga load. So, 20 pa baba, 10 pa taas, 30 at 15 pa baba at saka 5 pa taas. It's a simply supported beam. And ang question, first question, is to determine the resultant of the load. Yung resultant ng loadings na to. So, it's, it's simply the summation Okay, the summation of forces. Why? Let's take a downward as positive. This will get yung resultant natin for Y. So, RY resultant is yung 20 plus or minus yung 10 dahil pataas siya plus 30 plus 15 minus 5. At resultant load is 50 kilonewtons pababa. Okay, so ibig sabihin, etong beam na to, pwede natin tong palitan ng a similar beam. Now, this is related dun sa susunod na tanong. So, ito no, letter C yung sagot for the resultant load, the resultant load. Yung susunod na tanong kasi is determine the location of the resultant load from the left support. So, gusto niyang hanapin kung ilan to. Let's call this value X. Okay. Kano kalayo yung resultant load dito sa left support natin? And from Barignon's theorem na the sum of the parts is equal to the whole, so yung moment nitong resultant from the left support, let's let's take clockwise as positive para sa moments natin. Yung 50 times x, yan yung moment ng resultant. So this is the moment ng resultant. This should be equal sa summation ng moment ng parts. Ano ba yung parts ng 50? E di ito, yung maliliit na forces na to na inad mo, kaya naging 50. So, dapat yan equal sa sum ng moments ng bawat isang force na to. Ano yung mga, sum na, uh, ano yung mga moment na yun? We have 20 times 1.5 okay, plus 10 times 3 pero dapat minus to, no? Dahil, sabi ko nga, clockwise yung gawin nating positive since yung 10 is pataas it will rotate the beam with respect dito sa left support pa counterclockwise so minus dapat to and then we have 30 times 4.5 plus to and then another positive 15 times 6 and minus 5 times 7.5 Tong mga to, pag sinam up mo yan, yung moment na yan, we will get the following. 187.5. So, 187.5. Yung 187.5 na yan, yan yung equal sa 50x. So, solving for x, we simply divide it by 50 to get 3.75 meters. So, 3.75 is the answer. Okay, is the answer doon sa location ng resultant load natin. It will act on 3.75 meters and actually 3.75 is simply yung gitna ng beam natin kasi 7.5 divided by 2 is actually 3.75. So sa gitna siya nag-act. So answer is letter A. Now, for the third question, for this situation, uh, we are to determine the reaction at the left support. Pwede kang mag-moment and gano'n. Pero dahil sa gitna siya nag di ba mahalaga tong point na to eh, na yung 3.75 is in the middle of the beam. Since sa gitna nag yung resultant, by, by symmetry, the, the reactions must be equal. At kung equal yan at 50 yung resultant ng load, it just means that the reaction at the left support is 25 kilonewtons. Siyempre, your reaction sa right support, 25 kilonewtons din. So, this is the answer for that question. It's 25 uh, kilonewtons, letter C. Problem 38. Uh, in the figure shown, compute the product moment of inertia. Okay, ito yung figure. Product moment of inertia yung hinahanap. 
So, ito yung choices natin. So, sa mechanics, meron tayong tinatawag na product moment of inertia. Parang moment of inertia rin yun. And, and you can check your mechanics book for the derivations. Pero ito yung mga importanteng parts. No? For rectangles, yung product moment of inertia with respect to the centroid or Ix, Y bar is zero with respect to the centroid. And kapag with respect to a different uh, point naman, a different Hindi, hindi sa centroid, we, we have this transfer formula for the product of inertia, which is yung, yung product moment of inertia sa centroid plus area times x bar, y bar, or yung distance sa centroid doon sa, sa point na gusto mong kunin yung, yung product of inertia. For triangles, kapag ganito yung triangle at yung base niya at height niya is nakadikit doon sa xy uh, axis natin, it's b squared h squared over 24. So, this is not with respect to the centroid but with respect to the bases. And sa product moment of inertia, importante yung, ano, yung x at saka y coordinates dahil meron tayong sign convention na sinusunod. And since it's a product of x and y, kapag nandito yung x at saka y, we get a positive product. Diba? Kasi parehas positive yung x at y dito sa portion na to ng graph. Pag nandito naman sa kabila, negative yung x dito. Diba? Negative yung x. And then positive yung y. So, ang product nila, negative. And so on. So, positive sa first at saka sa third quadrant. Negative sa second at saka sa fourth quadrant. So, ayan lang yung tatandaan natin. Now, to get the product moment of inertia of this figure, we subdivide it into different shapes. So, we have here yung rectangular shape na dalawa. Okay? So, dalawang rectangular shape yan. So, I, X, Y is dalawang rectangular shape. What is the product moment of inertia ng dalawa? Parehas positive, by the way, dahil nasa first at saka third quadrant. So, ano yun? Zero yung i, x, y bar nila, yung nandito sa centroid with respect to the centroid. Then, ita transfer natin dito sa, sa basis. So, plus area, which is 60 times 40. X bar will be, eto, etong distance na to. Okay. This is 30 dahil 60 yung length. So, we have 30. At saka, 20. 20 dahil 40 to, yung distance papunta sa x-axis, this is the y-bar, is kalati ng 40. So, 20. Okay? And then, yung triangular parts, dalawa rin, which is b squared. So, ang base ng triangle ko, ng triangles, itong mga triangle na to, ang base nila ay 60. Okay? Square times the height of 40 squared divided by 24. At hindi mo sila i-add dahil nasa second at third quadrant sila, minus to. Dito, plus, plus no yung rectangles. Yung triangles, minus. So, no, minus mo sila. So, this is the total uh, product moment of inertia ng figure natin. And we simply input that in our calculator. And we will get, ayan, 2.4 times 10 raised to 6, 2.4 times 10 raised to 6 uh, millimeters raised to 4. Same units ng moment of inertia. Millimeters raised to 4. So, the answer is letter B. For situation 13, it's a little bit of uh, identification. Okay, identification. Uh, pangalanan natin yung mga physicists that studied or stated the, the following principles in mechanics. So first, he studied the effect of dry friction which occurs between contacting surfaces of bodies when there is no fabricating fluid. So we have Newton, Barignon, Coulomb, and Bernoulli. Uh, Newton is well known for the loss of motion. Varignon, siya yung naalala ko sa kanya, yung Varignon's theorem about sa summation of moments, paano makuha yung mga moment. And si Bernoulli is yung energy equations. 
So I guess it's Coulomb na siya yung nag-aral nung nung pagkuha nung friction sa sa mga inclined. And again, uh, I I did this by method of elimination, no. Alam ko si Newton loss of motion, Bernoulli is yung energy equations and yung beam theory, barignon yung sa moment. So I think Coulomb is the answer. Again, that's what I think. So, yun ito no, yung pagre-review natin, t- pinapakita ko rin kung paano ako nag nagso-solve talaga. So, nanghuhula ako bali. Okay? So, punta tayo sa number 40. He is a Swiss mathematician known for stating Pappus theorems. Pappus theorems It's Paul Goldin. Yan, alam ko yan. Because from memory, I I think it's also known as the Pappus Goldinus theorem. So actually, the name is not Goldinus. It's Paul Goldin. So ito, hindi ako nang hula. No? Alam ko lang talaga na si Paul Goldin yon. Okay? Again, by method of elimination, uh, Si Newton is attributed with the laws of motion and forces, Einstein theory of relativity, Descartes yung Cartesian plane, that's why we call it Cartesian plane, because it's René Descartes. So by method of elimination again, it must be yung Goldinus na kasulat dito, it's, it's actually a name, it's Paul Goldin. So let's go to number 41. He devised the principle of resultant of external forces applied to a body which is equal to the vector summation of the effective forces acting on the particles. Pascal is about pressure, yung Pascal's principle. Archimedes is... Ano is Archimedes? Archimedes' principle. O nga, no? parehas tubig ata itong dalawang to. Galileo Galilei. Uh, yung mga celestial bodies yung naaalala ko sa kanya at siya rin nga pala kung hindi ako nagkakamali no? Galileo is the first one to state yung relativity Galileo's uh, theory of relativity and later improved by Einstein so may nakita akong keyword dito so titignan mo rin yung mga ano no yung mga uh, keywords we have effective forces so it's it's about a resultant of forces and an effective force. At kapag sinabing effective force, ang naaalala ko is yung tinatawag nating reverse effective force sa dynamics or REF and that is attributed kay, kay D. Alembert. So, paano ba ito basahin? D. Alembert. D. Alembert. Hindi, meron, meron siyang kuwit doon. So, siguro D. Alembert. Okay? So, naalala ko attributed sa kanya yung reverse effective forces yung, yung sa dynamic. So, I probably think na letter D yung sagot. So, okay? So, that's all for Engineering Mechanics Part 7. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na! Subscribe!